proportions of fractions that are equal to each other. Here we have a picture of a few dice to help us with a quick introduction. One is exactly the same as having two halves added together. But one is also exactly the same as four quarters added together. One is therefore equal to two over two, but also equal to four over four. In the same manner, a half is equal to two quarters. These are equivalent fractions as well as two over two, which is equal to four over four, which is equal to one. To understand how and why equivalent fractions work, we are first going to revisit two concepts. The identity element for multiplication and division is 1. This is because a number stays the same or keeps its exact value when I multiply or divide any number with 1. It works the same with fractions when I multiply or divide any fraction with 1. The fraction's value stays exactly the same. Any number divided by itself is equal to 1. When I take 2 and divide it by 2, the answer is 1. The same applies to all numbers. 7 divided by 7 is also 1. Why would it be important to know that when I multiply a fraction, for example 1 over 2 times 1, it equals a half or that its value stays the same or that when I divide any number by itself for example 2 over 2 that it equals 1. Right in the beginning of this video we said that a half is equal to 2 over 4 which makes a half and 2 over 4 equivalent fractions whose value in its simplest form is equal. To get a number from a half to 2 over 4, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator with 2 over 2. 2 over 2 is equal to 1. Because we are multiplying a half with 1, it means that the value of this fraction remains the same, even though the numerator now and the denominator of 2 over 4 has larger values or larger numbers. The question reads, give two fractions equivalent to 1 over 3 and 5 over 4. If we multiply 1 over 3 with 2 over 2, we get 1 times 2, which equals 2, and 3 times 2, which equals 6. We can now say that 1 over 3 is equal to 2 over 6, and that they are equivalent fractions. We start with a third again and can multiply both the numerator and the denominator with the same number, for example, 6 over 6. We start 1 times 6 is 6 and 3 times 6 is 18. We can now say that two equivalent fractions to a third is 2 over 6 and 6 over 18. You can use any number to multiply the original fraction with to find an equivalent fraction. As long as you use the same number to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with. First stop this video 
Try and find your own equivalent fractions to the improper fraction 5 over 4 and then hit replay to see if me and you selected the same numbers. I chose 4 and 11. Here we go. 5 over 4 times 4 over 4 is equal to 20 over 16. And if we start with the original fraction again, 5 over 4 times 11 over 11, we get 55 over 44. Therefore, 5 over 4 is equal to 20 over 16, which is equal to 55 over 44. Now we have found two equivalent fractions for both 1 over 3 and 5 over 4.